Welcome to Asthma MD's instruction on how to use a peak flow meter. Here I have Dr. Bajam. Hello there. Hello. I have the Asthma MD peak flow meter here with me today. And the reason we recommend using peak flow meter is because 50% of asthma patients don't realize how bad their asthma is. And so it is recommended to use a peak flow meter to accurately track your asthma symptoms. So here I'm going to go ahead and show you what the peak flow meter looks like. The centerpiece has a slider and it's a white slider that goes up and points to a number. On the side, we have color uh, zones um, that are also sliders, and it's set by your physician based on your zones. And that's calculated based on your height, age, and sex. Or you can use the Asthma MD app to automatically set those. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start using it. I want you to go ahead and open the handle and hold the device by its handle. Hold it, hold it horizontally, and when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in and blow into the device as fast as you can. Very good. The white slider moved. We're going to move it back to the base and we're going to repeat the process two more times, recording the highest number. Great. And is there anything else that we need to be aware of? There are a few things. For example, we do need an exact height measurement to accurately calculate the zone measurements. Also, when you put your lips around the mouthpiece, it has to be a tight seal and you have to blow into the device like blowing a candle across the room. Last but not least, asthma is a chronic condition, so it is important to use the peak flow meter frequently, especially if you're going through medication changes, you're symptomatic, or for example, in the evenings. Great, thank you so much, Dr. Bajam. Thanks for watching. Make sure you watch other Asthma MD videos.